What's up guys, Matt the Riff Master here. Today we're going to be working out why it is you cannot play that riff. So guys, something I get asked a lot or told a lot um, by all of you beautiful people is that you're struggling to play certain riffs. Um, you're, I just can't do it. Um, not that you can't do it, meaning you can't play it because you can probably play the riff, you know how it's played, but you can't quite get the tempo of the riff or the solo, whatever it may be. Uh, but obviously over here, we're going to be focusing on the riffages, the riffages. Um, and I get it a lot, and there's a bunch of songs that you guys say to me that you just can't do, uh, which is fine, we've all been there, a lot of them are hard. Um, and I think I know why, I think I know why it is, and what you can do in order to make it, your, make it easier for you to be able to accomplish it and play that riff. So, let's say you've got this riff you wanna, you wanna, well, you wanna be able to play, you know how it's played, but you just can't play it to speed. Um, so here's probably what you're doing. You're probably just going at it, balls to the walls, 100 miles an hour, straight out the gate, and then just not being able to play it. 50 times over, <laughs> and you get to the point you're thinking, I just can't play this. What is wrong with me? Am I, am I not good? Am I not a good guitar player? Well, that is wrong. That is rubbish. You are a fantastic guitar player. Uh, I've been there myself, where I've been trying to play things like it is on the album, or how they play it live. Um, and I just can't do it, and I think, God damn it, I actually suck at this guitar business. Um, but it's not true, it's not the case at all. All you need to do is to just slow it down, okay? That's, it's that simple. It's that simple. Uh, take a riff, I'm gonna give an example of a riff that comes up a lot. Oh my goodness, might wanna plug my guitar lead in. Anyway, uh, a riff that comes up a lot that I get asked is um, uh, Battery by Metallica. That's one of many that come up and I'm gonna be using that as an example today. So yeah, all it is, you just need to slow it down. You know how to play it. You know all the notes, you know the picking patterns and all that mumbo jumbo. Um, but you just need to slow it down. So let's take that Battery riff and play it and slow it down. So it would be like this. Okay, yeah, it sounds a bit boring and a little bit crap, but as soon as you've slowed it down and you've repeated it however many times you need to do it, because you want to get the precision of that riff with your picking hand, you want to be like tight on the right strings, you don't want to be having all these other strings making all these noise, you know these these top three that are totally unnecessary. <laughs> um, you, want, you want to be making sure you're hitting the strings you're meant to be hitting, you're keeping quiet the strings that don't need to make a noise, um, and also you're getting the, the finger in, the, fi <laughs> the fret in hand precise and where you need to be, and just making sure you're on the right frets, you're not, you know, going a little bit sharp, or you're not, you're not completely bolzing it up, um, and just start slow, because if you go completely like balls to the walls gunning it, first time, you're just going to get mumbled and jumbled and completely just go up your own ass. so you would be kind of like... A little something like that. A little something like that, big stream, but it could be like that. And, and another thing I found as well is when you try to go straight out the gate, 100 miles an hour, to tempo the song, you either go too fast or you lose the, the rhythm of the, the, of the riff, especially that battery one. I mean, I, I was teaching somebody that riff once and obviously it's got, you know, it's got the, the gallopy vibe to it, but because he was trying to play it fast too quickly, he'd be kind of going... So he'd be missing the, the gallops, you know? And that's not good because that's not how the riff's played. Is it? So you start slowly, you get the riff, to, you get comfortable playing the riff with, with the rhythm of the picking hand and the fretting uh, slowly before you start building up speed, okay? And it's just, it's that simple, it's all you need to do. With anything, even like the most 
insane guitar riff or guitar solo, as soon as you see it slowed down or you play it slowed down, you think, well, fuck me, that's easy. It's just it's just getting comfortable actually playing the notes and picking before you pick up the speed. And as soon as you've done that and you're comfortable with where you're playing, you don't need to think about it. You just start picking up the tempo to a, a comfortable rate and then you'll just be like, perfect. You'll be able to do it. You'll be able to stick that favorite song off, song on of yours that you want to jam to and be able to play it, boom, straight out and sound like an absolute hero. So once you've played it slowly about 17 million times, you'll be able to get it up to speed, a little something like this. Yeah, yeah, a little something like that. And obviously, you know, with Metallica, when they're live, they play everything faster. So, you know, maybe stick to the album tempo at first, and then when you're feeling a little bit brave, go ahead for the live version. But it's not impossible. You just gotta start slow with anything. Start slow, get it right, get it right. Because all those gallops in that riff, you really wanna, you wanna hear them. You want people to hear that and be like, wow, listen to that gallop you know and even the you want to be able to be that's an ugly ugly inverted power chord I mean that sounds ugly but like it works uh, you want people to hear that you know and and be like oh yeah oh, well, I can hear that and it's all about making all the notes audible sounding good um, at a high speed and to do that you got to slow it down start slow get it right and then, yeah, you're on your way to greatness. So guys, like I said, that applies for anything. Riffs, solos, um, I don't know, anything really. I guess life, take things slow and then build it up. You know, you've got to start somewhere before you can reach optimal greatness. All right, good. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, that'd be badass. We try and hit 20,000 subscribers very soon. So if you could help me do that, that would be fantastic. I'll give you a high five. Uh, follow me on Instagram uh, here. Uh, I'm very active over there posting and just like having a good time. All that cool stuff. So if you're not following me on Instagram right now, go follow me on Instagram right now. And guys, as always, rock out, be awesome. And I will see you very, very, very soon. See ya.